Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan, this is Robot Masters. So, in front of me, I have three robots, and these all have smart mapping. This is iRobot's top of the line robots. We got the Roomba S9, we got the Bravo M6, and we got the Roomba i7. These use iAdapt 3.0, which allows for smart mapping. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create smart mappings with the Roomba series. Also, I'll show you how to create multiple maps for different levels of your home. And lastly, we'll show you how to edit the map so you can create rooms, you can also do keep out zones, all the fun stuff you can do with mapping. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you want to grab your iPhone or a smartphone. This is a Galaxy Note 9. Um, I've been using this guy a lot for my robots. So what you want to do is first go ahead and search the iRobot app if you have not already done so. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. And once you search it, it should just pop up. And now, once you have it installed, you're going to have to install it. You will create an account. And once you have the account, you should be able to open it up. Now, we're on my home screen. And this is basically the main menu. Now, if you look at the top left-hand corner, you actually see the list of robots I have. Uh, if you only have one robot, only one robot should pop up. But keep in mind that you do have to pair the robot to your smartphone. I will have a video down below on how to do that. Okay, for this example, we'll use the Roomba i7. And once we are on Roomba i7, we can go to Smart Mapping. In this section is where all the smart mapping happens. This allows you to edit the map, also allows you to create maps. So, I actually have three floor plans right now. I have the main level, I have my mudroom, I also have the basement. But for this example, we'll go ahead and create a new one. So, what you do is you go ahead and select Training Run. This allows the robot to uh, create the map. It goes on a slow power setting and it will actually go around, bump along the edges to create the map. This usually takes about three to five training runs. And one thing to note is make sure you have sufficient lighting. Also pick up all the cables, uh, any loose objects that you want to pick up off the floor so it does not get incorporated in your map. That's very important because let's say you have a loose box on the floor, like an empty box, the robot will actually think that's part of your mapping and you cannot undo it once the map's done. That's just one thing to remember. Okay, so once you picked up everything, what you will do is bring the robot downstairs or to your new floor plan. Make sure it's plugged in and it's on a stopping station. Once you have that, go ahead and select start training. Now the robot will Now the robot will go ahead and uh, start mapping out. Again, this takes three to five training runs. Okay, so once we have the map completed, we're going to go ahead and uh, tap customize. Um, there's a lot of different options, so I'm just going to go ahead and just jump into it right now. I actually can name my map. Uh, I'll call this the downstairs, just to keep it simple. And it's going to go ahead and uh, name that map as the downstairs. So once that's saved, you can actually uh, create different areas within the map. So let's go ahead and do that. You may notice that the app actually tries to create it, but you can always uh, readjust those. So let's say, for example, I don't like where this is at. I actually can move it up or down, and I can rotate it left or right by using this handle. You can see how I can change it. And then once I have an area, just go ahead and click Save. And so you notice that the area is too small. So you might want to try to make a larger area. Let's try it right here. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, saved that area. And now I can actually uh, name, that, um, name that area. So let's go ahead and uh, call this uh, bathroom or basement. You can also Go ahead and uh, actually create your own. It's a custom label. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll actually name it something else. I'll call it My Bedroom. There you go. And then once you're done, just click Done. And there you go, My Bedroom. You can do that for all the rest of the maps. Okay, I went ahead and select Done. And this is your main map screen. As you can see, I can still create new rooms if I choose to. Also, I can do a keep out zone. So let's say I wanted to add a keep out zone right here. Very simple. I went ahead and save it. And now it will be shown in red where the robot will avoid that area. Now keep in mind you want to keep your keep out zone very large over the area you want to 
have the robot avoid, so it allows some error in case the robot tries to go within that key bound zone. That's just one thing I noticed is make sure the area is larger than what the actual area is within the key bound zone. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can add labels. Very simple, let's just make it a name, call it basement, and call it done. Okay, there we go. I created one room called basement, and lastly, we can do dividers. So I can select on this divider, I can move it up and down, and I can also rotate it left and right. So if I wanted to divide the basement in half, I can go ahead and do that. And now the basement is separated into two different areas. Pretty simple, that's just a basic overview of the map and how you can edit, how you can create names, and do keep out zones. So the next thing I want to show you before we end this video is how to do another level once you create that floor plan. The robot can do up to 10 different floor plans. So it's basically the same process. You go into smart mapping and now we're just going to go ahead and do another training run. It's the same process. Just give a quick look around. Make sure all the cables and loose items are off the floor. Move the robot to that area with its charging base and start the training run. Fortunately, once the map's created, you cannot move the docking station or the robot will not be able to update charging location. You actually would have to restart the mapping process. So make sure the docking station is in the spot you want it to be at. Okay, so that was just a video covering how to create maps, how to edit, how to name maps, and also do keep out zones. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please smash the like button. Also, if you're new to my video, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Robert Masters, and I do a lot of helpful tips on this channel. I do overviews, unboxings, reviews, everything. So, have a great show. It's your day. See you later.